Hello, welcome, sit down. Let us travel to the depths of the maelstrom. I will slowly <clears throat> turn into Stewie. Hello, fat man. Let us go to the bottom of the sea with your head uh, funny. Kind of a mix between Stewie and Pluzo from Pink Panther. That's okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna save up for some more shop items. Uh, actually, yeah, yes. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Because in order to complete this game, 100%, as I promised, perhaps 101%, huh, then uh, we gotta buy all them items. Gotta see what they all do. And uh, that's important. I would say. Ah, 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 ah. Gosh, those those infinite jellies and the bonefish or whatever you can't cut through with your little chainsaw. So I scared myself. I held my hand up, <laughs> which none of you can see because I was distressed. That's okay. A little, it's just a slight, slightest bit of. Uh, what would you call it? Mm, pressure. Mm, pressure. When recording. Which, uh, in moderation and in uh, proper understanding. Gosh, too many baby poopers, man. Too many baby poopers, gender. Uh, a little bit of pressure. As long as you're cool with it as a person. Dig down. Then uh, it might be good for comedy, you know. Sometimes it helps to have a little pressure. Apply a little pressure. Huh? Fast fish. We caught one of those before. I don't know if we have. Hmm. Uh, have to check our fishipedia eventually. I'm pretty sure we have. Ah! I want to get one anyway. Urgh. Those flying fish. They go so fast I can't move my lure underwater quick enough to get them. We've talked about how it's kind of insane. This fisherman has the strength and the kind of line that would allow him to move it this deep underwater in this way. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's like a stiff pole that you're moving 600 meters below water. How? It's okay. Whenever I listen to myself while editing, uh, speak Korean. I'm like, ooh, that does not sound nice. <laughs> Doesn't it sounds fine coming out of my mouth, and when I hear it on Korean dramas, but I suppose they speak that language uh, from their birth, so they're probably going to sound a little better saying things than I will. Whatever, it's fine. We left the last episode talking about time travel and how it is very possible to time travel to the future. You can Not only can you do it by going to a place of lower gravity, but you can also time travel to the future by traveling speed of light. Uh, I don't understand why either of those are possible, but they're, they're, they, the scientific community apparently says they are true. So, apparently the scientific community has also thought that uh, that uh, time travel of the past might be possible when they've actually found some equations that you can do it with a black hole, but we've never actually done that before. But we are capable right now of traveling to the future. I thought that was crazy. Super crazy. All right, we're almost there to the infinite lure. And wasn't there something else I was gonna do? Maybe, the, maybe we'll go to Stormy Seas, see if there's anything new there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 cool, 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 cool. Let's see. Yes. I like it. Yes, I like it. There's this interview with Red Velvet, the K-pop group, uh, on, ooh, is it Variety? I think it's Variety, and they make this, it's titled, they make the playlist of their lives, and they speak in English a little bit, um, and when they don't, it's subbed, 
Is that subtitles? <laughs> I'm just tearing through this joint. Caesar stormy with my buzzing. I'll tell you that. These poor fish. They're just doing their thing, living out their, their normal day in their lives, and they just look to the left and oh, there's a new boy! Mm -mm -mm -mm. There I go with boy again. Uh, they just look to their side and they're like, they see a <laughs> heading down the sea next to him. Sharp points on it. Uh, designed specifically. There's another one. Another new fishy. I mean, it's hard to call that whatever that was a fish, but you know what I mean. Fishopedia. Gosh, leave me alone. <laughs> We don't need him again. We don't need a jelly pooper. We, we've already experienced our, our dealings with... Oh, excuse me. Baby pooper. More than once. We don't need a... We don't need a jellyfish pooper. Alright, I hope I don't miss... Our Mr. Diver... Child. <laughs> Just trying to come up with something other than boy, okay? I'm, I'm trying. Trying to break patterns here. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Yeah, still, I still used he. I'm sorry. Sorry. Doing my best, y'all. Doing my best. Doing my best. I didn't say you guys. I didn't say I'm doing my best, you guys. Ugh. I'm sure none of you care. Just being hard on myself. It's okay. Not hard on myself. Just... It's fun to come up with, with new words for things that I, you know, I would normally repeat all the time. Like curse words. I think it's a challenge to come up with uh, curse words. That's why I say bump and farkle. Because <laughs> they're fun and you don't hear them. But there are many jokes that are not as funny. There are many jokes that you you can't tell without cursing. Uh, and uh, you know that that is a special kind of humor that unfortunately I don't think I'll ever kind of delve into. So that's okay with me. Dirder Let's get the needles of defeat. Defeat. Boom boom boom. Ah, those puffers. Definitely my faves. They're orange, which is my favorite color, and they also help me be more efficient at shooting gills. Off of fishies. Yes. Twenty thousand dollars in the bank, and we got no two new species. Yes, seventeen items that we can afford in the store. And very real. Chris, is your line to uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, forever? Great for bottomless Norwegian areas. It's gonna make a joke, but I'm not going to. Head jet. Well, this is mysterious. It sure is. Wonder why it's so mysterious, eh? Oh, we didn't buy it. Cha-ching! Bye-bye goes our money. But that's okay. Because now, we can check our Fishopedia, and then go back to the Maelstrom and have a good old time. Incredipede. I thought it said Incredipidipede. <laughs> Incredipidipede. Look at that eye. Runner. More like a swimmer. Yeah, guess I suppose he is. I suppose he is. Squidfather's not new. We already we already dealt with our Octodad. Aldi Law. I laughed so hard at that Markiplier playthrough of Octodad. Just the rage. I'm sorry, Mark. I'm sure that that was not completely enjoyable, but. It probably wasn't fun rage. It didn't seem like fun rage. That's the. That's. Yeah. Yep. That's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna say. So yeah, Maelstrom. Ooh, did you hear that like wispiness? Do one Maelstrom run. <laughs> and that run will be good for me. Since the only time I can record these days. Well, that's not true. Most of the time, uh, I can record is at night. We're gonna have to set, you know, that's a spoiler. I won't say it. I am super incredibly picky about spoilers. You even tell me the genre of a movie 
And I'm like, oh, well, thanks. I'm so touchy. I'm, I may have talked about this already on the show, but... Uh, yeah, I have. Where I, like, if I have to step away from a movie, like, halfway through, and do something else, and then come back, I'm like, I probably missed something. You know, even though if I've, I've watched every single second, I haven't missed a single second of the movie, there may be themes I've missed that, that take the full two hours to notice, and stuff like that. Super picky. And spoilers, too. I'm like, I'm never going to stop thinking about that now. I think sometimes I forget, and it's not really that big of a deal. But most of the time, I remember clearly what someone says uh, about a movie right when I'm watching it. And I'm like, well, I love being surprised. I think that's why I'm so picky. It's because of my love of the feeling of being surprised is, is so such a love like it's just such a great feeling to be surprised by something uh yeah past 700 meters yeah 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 we still got a toaster on us too look at it wiggling back and forth back and forth oh 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 darn it that's my favorite oh my gosh how am i not supposed to use the lure in that situation the saw i mean oh we're almost out of gas though Ooh. Oh, oh, almost a thousand meters. Maybe wondering, does that mean that uh, the maelstrom is actually bottomless? Yes, yes, it is. It actually is. I wondered for a long time whether or not uh, it's bottomless. And there we go with my with my spoiler etiquette again, I'm and now I'm thinking like, you know, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Maybe I should have let people wonder for themselves. Because I wondered for a long time, like, is it really bottomless? Or is that little infinity sign in the corner just describing the length of my line? And not the length of... Uh, not the depth of the area that I'm in. But it's it's the depth of the area. Because if you go somewhere else with the infinity lure, it still it says the depth of of the, that area, so. Yeah, that's that. I think I might have missed that fish, that pink stego fish, and I needed to catch it. Maybe not, maybe we caught it already. Don't remember, I don't remember. I know it's just happened, but I catch a lot of fish, okay? And this is not the first time I played the game. I anticipate, well, playing Crash has, has shown me that the most enjoyable circumstance of Jess' game is where it's a game I haven't ever played before and I've seen nothing of before. My favorite meme, speaking of Crash, which I, I shared on an episode with Baruch. Oh, juggle them, juggle them, juggle them. No, lose a face bug, yeah! They were worth too much. Uh, it's called the, uh, the one with the meme ending. That's the title of the episode. And maybe it was Ridiculous Fishing. <gasps> that would be great if it was. But anyway, my favorite meme is, is Crash. The woe of Crash Bandicoot. He goes, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and it's great. It's got a visual and everything. So good. And I was trying to look up the origin of that meme. And it is from uh, none other than uh, Oni, uh, the YouTube channel. And uh, he was playing Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back, I believe, with some buds. And that's where that meme originated. So I always thought that that was the original voice recording of Crash. Which doesn't make sense because it's a very low poly Crash and I don't think that the voice engineering was at that at that level yet of, that you hear in the meme so it's a dub it's it's i think it's oni dubbing over crash oh good we did get we got a bunch of those stego stego fish that's good uh which i thought was crazy i thought it was awesome that a meme that that big um originated from uh oni so i thought that was super cool not not saying anything of oni he's, he's super well known. Oh my gosh. Whoa, okay. Yeah, we hadn't caught one of these yet. I didn't realize I had caught several other, two other ones though. 
<laughs> yep. All right, let's check him out. Sorry, check gender out. Uh, I don't think he's very far down. Let's see. Stego descended directly from different species. Interesting. Interesting. Huh. Huh. All right. So bad. That's fine, I suppose. What are we going for next in the store? Orbital ray? We're very, 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 very close. What do we need, though? Don't need... We don't need any of these. We don't need that. This would be nice, the oil drilling permit. This isn't necessary at all. This is nice, but very expensive. And that is necessary later. Hmm. Maybe we'll see what we're going to do next time. Is that a jest or not? Am I blind? Will I not see at all? Am I doing this all just blindly? Is that a jest? Or is it not? Goodbye. I see, said the blind man to his test son, peeing in the wind. Gross!